On your mark. Get set. Go! This pair of players is playing ping pong soccer in a straw to straw match of hot air. The first team to blow the ball across the goal will score $20 and control the craziest game show on TV, Double Dare. And now here's your Double Dare host, Mark Summers. Thank you very much. What a great audience. Thank you. Welcome to Double Dare. It's the only show that dares you to win eight great prizes with a run through our crazy obstacle course. Only one team gets that chance, and we're going to meet those teams right now, starting off with the Conquerors, Tim and Kelly. Hello. It seems over the weeks here on Double Dare, when you ask the contestants backstage what they like to do most, the common answer is sports. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, Tim, tell them what you like to do. I like to play soccer. Um, I like to ski, basketball. And play sports, right? <laughs> yes, play sports. Play like sports. to watch TV as well. What, what? shows do you like? Uh, I don't know, any Saturday night show, I don't know. Any Saturday night show. Okay, keep that in mind, networks. We've got to entertain, entertain Tim here. Kelly is your partner. What do you like to do? Um, I love to play any sports, skiing, soccer, basketball, baseball, anything. They like sports, gang, <laughs> all right? They like sports. And uh, they have $20. That's because they're good sports. We have some good sports over here. We're going to say hello to the Warriors, Candy and Josh. Uh, Candy uh, is active in sports because uh, you're a cheerleader, right? Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Um, two years. And do you play sports? Yes. And what about you, Josh? What do you like to do? Mm, basketball, baseball, and football. It's a theme show, folks. We have <laughs> sports on our mind today. Would you like to win some money, Warriors? Yeah. yeah. I think you guys will win some more as well. Let me tell you about Double Dare. On Double Dare, a right answer gets you dollars, but a dare gets you double. Here's how that works. I'm going to ask a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the bucks, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. We have the Warriors on this side, the Conquerors over here. The Conquerors in control with $20. Good luck to both teams. On the old TV show, Leave it to Beaver, what's the name of Wally's wise guy pal who always picked on the beaver? worth ten dollars to you or you can dare dare all right twenty dollars to the warriors candy and josh tv show is leave it to beaver what's the name of wally's wise guy pal who always picked on the beaver eddie haskell for twenty dollars is a good answer <laughs> hi mrs cleaver nice to see you nice dress i always hated him on that show boy all right you are in control warriors when is valentine's day celebrated worth ten dollars you can dare them february 14th put you in the lead with thirty dollars that is the date we were looking for february 14th <laughs> candy and josh still in control co is the postal abbreviation for what state colorado you're on a roll you have forty dollars Great movie, one of my favorite movies that I've seen uh, not too long ago. In Ferris Bueller's Day Off, what kind of car did Ferris' best friend total? Was it a Ferrari, a BMW, or a Jaguar? A Jaguar? Actually, that is incorrect. As Mr. Darby would tell us, I always mispronounce it wrong. He is from uh, Canada, Ottawa, Canada, our executive producer. Jaguar is what he says. We're both wrong. The uh, answer is Ferrari. Ferrari, which I can say. No money was dared, so we have control back here to the Conqueror's Jaguar. Yes, but Ferrari is the answer. On which U.S. bill would you find a picture of Independence Hall, Conquerors? Which U.S. bill? Dare. $20 over here to the Warriors. On which U.S. bill would you find a picture of Independence Hall? Double dare. $40 over here, Tim and Kelly. What bill would you find? Independence Hall. Physical challenge. $100 bill. I don't see many of those, so I wouldn't know that. Let's play a physical challenge. Come down right over here, if you would, please. Oh, you can stay there. You know what? I'd like you to stand right over here. And if you look from above, we have our famous flypaper coming down. All right, I'm going to ask you to step back just a little bit. Actually, right over there. And you step uh, uh, back a little bit more. That's good. Now, I need you to parallel him. Good. You didn't say Mother May I. Okay, we have some ping pong balls over here. What we're going to ask you to do is to throw these ping pong balls so they stick on the flypaper. That is the stickiest stuff in North America. You have to get three balls stuck. You have to get three balls stuck. You've got to get a total of six. You've got 30 seconds to do it, $40 at stake. That would bring you up to 60 and would give you the lead. You know what you have to do? On your mark, get set, go! Throw those ping pong balls. We don't have any stuck yet. 
we, we have one over on this side. We have one there. Two over on this side. We only need one more over here. Three, okay, you need two more. Two more. Quickly, we need two more. One more. One more with 15 seconds. Quickly, one more, you've got... Yeah, go! With 10 seconds left, let's go. Only took them... Only took them 20 seconds to do that. That means they now have $60. And let's see how long it takes to rain ping pong balls today on, on our show. You uh, have control, Conquerors. Your question is, Dr. Johnny Fever spun the discs on what classic TV show? There. $20 over here to the Warriors. Johnny Fever was a character that spun uh, discs on what classic TV show? Double Dare. $40 back here to the Conquerors. Johnny Fever was on what TV show? We'll take the physical challenge. WKRP in Cincinnati. That was the show, and it's time to step down here again. We were just here, and here we are. What did you do another one? All right. Let me ask you. When you eat breakfast in the morning, what do you normally have? Cereal. Cereal. How about you? What do you eat? Uh, waffles. Well, ever have eggs? Uh, yeah. Oh, do you? Well, we have some eggs here today. We have uh, some spare eggs that we'd like to talk about. Dave has some eggs, and we're going to ask you to take these eggs one at a time and toss them over here to the person who's going to be wearing this wonderful hat. Now, who's going to be? You'll toss them. What a nice lady you are. Why don't you come over here, and uh, you're, you're loving this, I can tell. Yeah, why don't you go over there and put, well, let's put the goggles on first. And we're going to put this little hat on that has a bowl on top. Now, all you have to do is catch two eggs in... 30 seconds. Now you can duck around. You don't have to stay there. You can move your head, do whatever you have to. You need two eggs inside there in 30 seconds. You know what you got to do? On your mark, get set, go. All right. Oh, there's one ping pong ball. Oh, you got one already. Oh, not there. Keep going. Try, oh, uh, no, it did not go, they're saying. Not yet. No, not yet. You got to get it square to the bowl. No. That's it. There you go. With 13 seconds left, let's play some more double there. And another thing, bone ball comes down. Go ahead. That was good. You can use those towels to dry yourself off. I forgot to tell you that you get extra points if you hit Susan or Robin on our staff there, but you didn't do that. Okay, you have $100 over there in control. 40 over here. Still a very tight game in round one. In which of the Muppet movies were the characters searching for the Rainbow Connection? Good for ten dollars if you're right, or you can dare them. We'll dare. Twenty dollars to the Warriors. Bring up to sixty if you're right. In which of the Muppet movies were the characters searching for the Rainbow Connection? Double dare. Back to forty dollars. It could happen again, gang. Muppet movies. They were searching for uh, the Rainbow Connection. In which of the Muppet movies were we looking for? Physical challenge. It's called the Muppet Movie. That's what we were going after. The Muppet Movie. You've been here before, Conquerors Tim and Kelly. Let's do it again. <laughs> Big pong balls are just dropping down all over the place. Let me ask you to step around here so everybody can see what you look like. You're doing real good. You're two for two on these. This is number three. This is uh, one that we're going to put football helmets on. Why don't we put the helmets on them right away? Why don't we bring them down here so they don't get in the eggs? You'll be facing each other. We have our little plexiglass table. And uh, actually, we want you to face your partner. Just down on your knees that way. All right, and you do the same, please. And we have some cups and saucers. All we're going to ask you to do is put those cups and saucers on the little plexiglass table any way that you'd like, and then you have to stand up. Now I need you down on your other knee, both knees down, all right? So you have to put cups and saucers on your heads and stand up without them falling. <laughs> is that an opinion of somebody up there, or what is this? We have pigeons. Okay, fine. All right. That, I could have been standing in a better place. And when there's two more to go, I can hardly wait. All right. You have 15 seconds, $40 at stake. All right. On your mark. Get set. <laughs> go. Okay. Get those up there. And uh, you can't drop them. If they drop, you got to get back up again. Pretty easy for these guys. They did it. Nice job. $40. Let's play some more double there. $140. Harvey is just loving this, aren't you, Harvey? It's just bombing me right down there with those ping pong balls. $40 over here, $100 lead for the Conquerors, Tim and Kelly. Still lots of time, though. In 1985, Yuba City, California was voted last on this list. Was it weirdest name of cities, best place to live in the U.S., or favorite camping spot in the U.S.? It's worth $10 to you. Dare. Okay, $20. In 1985, Yuba City, California was voted last on this list. 
Was it weirdest names of cities? Best places to live in the U.S.? Favorite camping spots in the U.S.? The weirdest name in the U.S.? It's not right. It was best places to live in the U.S. $20 added to the Conquerors. We now have 160, and that sound means it's the end of round one. But we're going to come back with round two, and $40 will be at stake, and more ping pong balls will be dropping from the sky as well. Come back and see what happens here on Double Dare. I can't wait to see myself. It's Double Dare. That's the name of the show, Double Dare. Come right back here. I promise we'll be here. Crowd. Welcome back to, to round two on Double Dare. That means all the questions are now worth double the dollars. And when you hear this sound, that means the game's over. Ms. Buzzer is at work, hard as always. Okay, $40 at stake in control of round two. You have some containers that are filled with, I'm assuming, water at this point of the game. We've had enough ping pong balls, and you have some cups in your mouth. All you have to do is fill it past the line. We have some judges, impartial judges, waiting out there to see who's going to be the winner. We all are at home as well. Let's get started. On your mark, get set. Go! All right, you gotta get that in there. You gotta fill it up there. And uh, gotta keep it level. Let's see how we do here. Squirt those things in there. Keep going. We need a winner. It's awful darn close. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure. Keep going. It's gotta go past the line. Past the line. We got a winner in front. They're saying that our pr these folks have won. Okay, let's go. You guys, let's stop. Let's go ahead. Okay, with 40 additional dollars, where do those dollars go? Where, which show? Over here. Good. $200. I couldn't tell. All right, $200 in control. Back to the Conquerors. Tim and Kelly, questions now worth 20. 40 on a dare, 80 on a double dare. So, Warriors, hang in there. You're still in the game. What baseball team cap does Magnum wear on Magnum P.I.? Letter is right on the cap. Yankees? Not right. Detroit Tigers. It's the letter D. Control goes back to the Warriors. No cash changes place because there was no dare at stake. What is the capital of Oregon? It's worth $20. Salem? Good answer. For, for $20, you're now up to 60 Salem, Oregon. The letter O is the chemical symbol for what gaseous element you constantly come in contact with. Oxygen. Another $20. You have 80. In mythology, hypnos or hypnos is the god of what? The god of health, sleep, or hyp hypnotis? <laughs> hypnos, I believe, is the correct pronunciation. Health, sleep, or hypnotis? Dare. $40 over here to the conquerors. In mythology, hypnos is the god of what? Health, sleep, or hypnotis? Sleep. For $40. Gives you $240 on your board. <laughs> Conqueror's back in control on Dallas. What's the name of J.R. and Bobby's company? Hewing Oil. One more time. Hewing Oil. Are we going to take that? The answer is incorrect. It is Ewing. Ewing, E-W. said Hugh with an H. That means control goes back to the Warriors. $20 question. What was the character's name that Washington Irving created who fell asleep for 20 years? Rip Van Winkle. You have $100 on the board. $140 separates first and second. If someone gave birth to three babies at the same time, they'd have triplets. What's it called when you have five babies at once, besides painful? Quintuplets? Uh, not the right answer. Quintuplets. Quintuplets. Control back to the conquerors. $20 question. What happens every year at Churchill Downs? People gather to recite the writings of Winston Churchill, <laughs> the Kentucky Derby, or the Little League World Series? I like it, too. I think it's a good one. <laughs> we'll dare. All right, $40 to Candy and Josh. What happens every year at Churchill Downs? People gather to recite the writings of Winston Churchill, the Kentucky Derby, or the Little League World Series? Worth $40. Kentucky Derby? You have $40 added to that score. You have $140. <laughs> Just $100, $100 behind. Who hosts the $100,000 pyramid? Dick Clark. $20 on the side for you. Dick Clark, man never ages, perennial teenager. 
Who was the oldest man to be elected president of the United States? Ronald Reagan. You are right for 20 additional dollars. 69 years old and 344 days. Re-elected at age 74. According to mythology, what was Achilles' weak spot? Bring it up to 200 if you're correct. Well, dare. $40 to the conquerors. According to mythology, what was Achilles' weak spot? Um, like the back of his heel. That is a good answer. For $40, you have 280 <laughs> The month of July was named after Julius Caesar, Julian the Apostle, Apostle or Orange Julius. Could you, um, repeat? Yeah, one more time. The month of July was named after Julius Caesar, Julian the Apostle, or Orange Julius. <laughs> or you can dare them. Quickly, before time. Dare. All right, $40. The month of July was named after Julius Caesar, Julian the Apostle, or Orange Julius. Julius Caesar. For 40 additional dollars, you're up to 220 now. Close game. We have uh, your next question coming up now. What is the name of the winged horse from Greek mythology? Pegasus. 240. <laughs> Time has run out, and with $40 lead, the Conquerors, $280 total, they win today's game of Double Dare. <laughs> Time ran out on you, Warriors. Uh, conquerors, you are going to get a chance to go to our Double Dare obstacle course. You split that money. That's $140 a piece. I think you just ran out of time. You were catching up and coming from behind, but you did a good job. $120 a piece. And Harvey, tell them what great party gifts they'll get today. Mark, they'll each get an assortment of games and puzzles. From Milton Bradley, you'll get hours of fun with games including Battleship, Simon, and the Game of Life. Milton Bradley, your key to fun. Plus Skittles bite-sized candies, fruit flavors in the middle, orange, strawberry, grape, lemon, lime. Taste the rainbow of fruit flavors in Skittles. Plus, they'll each get green slime shampoo. Get to clean, won't turn you green. Now you can get slimed in your own shower. And some members of our studio audience get Reebok accessories, watches, t-shirts, and duffel bags from Reebok. Because life is not a spectator sport. And now, back to you, Mark. Thanks, Harvey. Well, it was a neck-and-neck -neck race today, but the Conquerors did win out, after all, by $40. You ready to uh, walk through the obstacle course? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's do it then. Starting off with Through the Ringer. One of you will start on the other side while your partner turns the crank. It's going to spit you out even quicker as you do that. You'll come down. What does it say? Last Chance Lunch. Oh, how nice. All right, we've got some uh, shaving cream there making that design. We've got some chocolate pudding, some tapioca, all sorts of good stuff. Remember, on your way down, grab that flag, pass it to your partner, and you can win this. Your own phone. Garfield phones are here. Garfield phones are real phones that work on any phone system. No special wiring required. Ask for Garfield wherever phones are sold. Don't forget to grab that flag on your way down, pass it to your partner, and they're going to come over here to under the covers. Now, you can't just pull the sheet off. You've got to get underneath... And there is a flag. This is a waterbed, so it may take a little bit longer than you think to go across. Once you find that flag, you need to come out on the other end where your partner will be standing, and you'll win this prize. Colorful styling products from Conair. It's high energy. Brightly colored styling products, including hot curler, blow dryer, curling iron, and hot comb. High energy by Conair. Colors that energize. Number three is the tank. Today it's filled with our styrofoam peanuts. You need to jump in, probably feet first, leap as far as you can. There is a flag all the way over there on the other side. Once you get it, you can pass it to your partner. Before you come out, you'll pick up time. And with Jeffrey the giraffe, that means a gift certificate for how much, Harvey? Mark, a $125 gift certificate from Toys R Us, the world's biggest and best toy store. It's your favorite place to go with thousands of toys and tons of fun in every aisle from Toys R Us. Inside Out is next. There is a uh, flag inside one of these balloons. I'm not sure which one it is myself, but you need to break them quickly, either with your nails or you can sit on them or you can stand on them. The quicker you do it, the quicker you'll find that flag, and the quicker you'll win this. An answering machine. You'll never miss a call again with Panasonic's EasyPhone automatic telephone answering system. Features include simple message playback and tone remote control system, and it's from Panasonic. Number five, desert trike. You need to get on and go across as quickly as possible. You have to actually sit down, but you don't have to pedal. If you find that's not the fastest way, you can push across with your feet. Get over there quickly, reach up, get that flag, pass it on, and this can be yours. The World Book 22-volume encyclopedia, including research guide and index file. Easy to use, easy to read, and easy to understand from World Book. Double Dare is often referred to as the messiest minute in TV or the stickiest minute in TV. Well, this stuff is plenty sticky. We have some chocolate pudding with some whipped cream. You need to get up this as quickly as you can. 
jump up to the platform. On the platform, you will find a flag way up on top of that pole. You get that, then you slide all the way down the pole. Your partner will be waiting, and you'll win this. A super new camera. Explore the wonderful world of photography with the Ricoh XF30 automatic 35mm camera. Simply point and shoot. The Ricoh XF30 does the rest. Down the home stretch, number seven is Customs Inspector. You need to come over here and whip the top off as quickly as you can. Underneath those clothing uh, articles, articles of clothing, is a flag, okay? I don't know where it is, how deep it is. Don't be afraid to toss that stuff everywhere, though, because the quicker you find that flag, the quicker you're going to win this prize. A new stereo from Sanyo. You'll get this AM FM stereo system complete with double cassette decks and Dolby noise reduction. Now all your records and tapes will sound great from Sanyo. The final obstacle of the day, Conquerors, is the one-ton human hamster wheel. Once you get that flag out of the uh, chest, you'll pass it to your partner who will run inside and start walking up the wall. The faster you walk up this wall, the quicker this thing goes around, and that means the faster these lights will light up. You've got to light six. When it hits six, that little glove will start to come down. If you jump up and catch that flag in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, tell him what they'll win. A fabulous Disney vacation. The luxury Buena Vista Palace, an official Walt Disney World hotel located in the heart of Walt Disney World Village. You'll dine in a award-winning restaurants enjoy unlimited transportation throughout the vacation kingdom we've got an enthusiastic crowd today i want you to help cheer them on you ready to go on your mark get set go go through there okay go down and get the flag get the flag get the flag get the flag pass it on go under the red go ahead underneath that's okay don't worry about it come on get up go over here you gotta get the flag get the flag all right jump in there jump in there hurry up jump in all right get the flag get it over here over there okay get the balloon get the balloons okay just break one i'm sit on them break it somehow there's the flag go ahead go over here you got 37 seconds get down here and wait for the flag jump up and get it get up, no, get flag. Get flag. Okay. You got it. go ahead get up there quickly keep going you got 27 seconds reach up there reach up and pull yourself up pull yourself up quickly all right get the flag you got 20 seconds come down pass it on over here to customs inspector come on get in there go by hold on come here come here there's the flag all right get in there you got 11 seconds walk around walk faster 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 keep going jump up jump up and get it go and get it they got it they got it quick go one second left look at that nice going nice going Listen closely, Harvey's gonna tell you what you want. Listen Mark, closely. they got the Garfield phone, the Con Air assortment, the Toys R Us gift certificate, the phone machine, the world book, the new camera, the new stereo. They're going to Disney World. A prize package worth over $3,400 each. Congratulations, they were planning their trip before the course and they did it. Nice to have you here. Join us again on Double Dare. Great day, fabulous. Whoa. Promotional consideration provided by Ross Bicycles, the state-of-the-art Ross BMX Piranha for both boys and girls. For the kind of kid who rides hard and needs the best, Piranha BMX by Ross is the answer. Every contestant on Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Double Dare because life is not a spectator sport. This is your announcer, Harvey Zane. See you back here next time for the most mess around on Double Dare.